we go, Jojo. Our last stop of the day. The library. Gran Gran? Mm -hmm. Does Terence the librarian work at night time? <laughs> Why don't you ask him? Good afternoon, Jojo. Hello, Gran Gran. Hello, Terence. Jojo has a question for you. Oh. Me and Panda would like to know if you work at night time. Like Neil the Posty. And the paramedics. And the bus driver. <laughs> no, the library is only open during the daytime, so that's when I work here. But the cleaners work at night time when the library is closed, so they can clean the library when nobody's trying to borrow any books. Ah. <gasps> What have you seen, Jojo? Gran Gran, I found a bedtime story! Jared! Hey, Jojo. Gran Gran, I've just finished work. Have you had a busy day? Very busy. And we borrowed a bedtime story from the library. Oh! And Jared, did you know, even though you finished work, some grown-ups are about to go to work? <laughs> yeah! Look, Gran Gran, it's a paramedic! I think working at night time is a very important job, Panda. I wonder where the full moon could be. <gasps> Maybe it's hiding. Come on, Panda. Let's find it. Hmm. The full moon might be hiding under the bed. No full moon here. No full moon in the cupboard either, Panda. Panda? Gran Gran? Oh, Jojo, why aren't you in bed? <sighs> Me and Panda want to see the full moon, like the one in your picture. But we think it's hiding somewhere. Oh, the full moon isn't hiding, Jojo. Come on, I'll show you. The moon is a ball shape, but we can only see the part which the sun lights up. Sometimes we can only see a little bit of the moon. And sometimes we can see a lot of the moon. So when we see the moon in the sky, it can look like lots of different shapes. But it's still the same moon. And all the shapes have names. This shape is called a crescent moon. This shape is called a half moon. And this shape is called... The full moon. You've got it. Now, good night, Jojo. Well, because at this time of the year, it doesn't get dark until much later. When you'll be asleep. Oh, Panda was really looking forward to seeing the twinkly stars. Hmm, Jojo, I think it's time for a grand grand plan. Are you ready for a sleepover story <gasps> under twinkling sleepover, sleepover stars? stars? Look, Panda. Thank you, Gran Gran. 
Captain Chloe followed the friendly bedtime bear through the nighttime forest, under the light of the twinkling stars, until she discovered the treasure. I think Panda is a little bit sleepy now. Do you think Panda would like to go to bed? Yes, please. <sighs> Maybe I'm a little bit sleepy too, Gangran, even though it's not dark yet. Well, we've had a very busy sleepover. We've played a sleepover game, had a yummy sleepover feast and read a sleepover story under twinkly sleepover stars. Sweet dreams, Jojo. Sweet dreams, Panda. If there are any footprints in the morning, we can use my tablet to match them to the animal. This footprint belongs to a fox. Wow. See how it has four toes on each paw? Oh, yes. What about this one? That's a badger. It's got five toes. It's very stripy. Ooh. What's this nighttime animal, Gran Gran? That's a hedgehog. It's so prickly. <laughs> If one of these animals visits my garden tonight, we'll see their footprints in the morning. Jojo, Gran Gran told me all about your footprint tracker. Can we check it, Gran Gran? Oh, yes, let's. <gasps> Look. Oh, I think you've got a lot of footprints. <gasps> this footprint looks like that one. <gasps> a hedgehog. How exciting. Um, what's this one, Jojo? A fox! I wish we could have seen the nighttime animals. Well, Jojo, I think these nighttime animals visited my garden too. Launch button, astronaut Jojo. Welcome to the Space Center. I'm Rebecca, your interactive guide. Do you need assistance? Yes, please, Rebecca. We'd like to learn about Ma Mars. <laughs> Mars is a planet. And visitors can learn about the planets in our solar system in the planetarium. Ooh, that's on the top floor. How do we get there? Gran Gran, we need... A rocket. Welcome to our rocket to the planetarium. Gran Gran, this isn't a rocket. Oh, really? Jojo, 
Cran Cran! We're looking for Mars and treasure, just like Captain Chloe. Told